inspires me. There's so many different ways to use yarn and so many different yarns to use. It's really an exciting thing, especially with today's technology, um, what you, what the capabilities are. So it's yeah, a constant inspiration for me, especially um, not only during winter collections and doing knitwear, but also in designing tweeds or working with wool suiting, such as what I'm wearing now, and wool silk satin blends and things like that. It it's, creates a beautiful structure to the fabric that I require in my designs. Delivery is always a relief, I must say, of both the final collection and uh, the garments in store but for me I must say I really enjoy the process of putting on a show I think to be able to communicate your vision behind the collections through the music and the sound the lighting the hair the makeup the models um, the environment that you choose to show your collection uh, and the styling all those things are very important and exciting for me to put together um, on a you know creative direction level um, we're developing a lot of fabrics at the moment um, locally and so it, that's an exciting program for us because we can really work on some beautiful um, fabrics that are exclusive to basic and we're using lots of different organic um, fibres, cottons and wools so that's really quite interesting. It takes a lot of time but it's, it's a really interesting process. And what yeah, we're really excited to be part of it. Um, our label's been going for four years and just to be recognised in this capacity um, is great and it's also we're a Sydney label so it's nice to be part of Melbourne and the L'Oreal Melbourne Fashion Festival um, and to really sort of get some brand awareness down here so it's been you know, a great experience so far. Uh, mid in a summer collection for the end of the year. Um, it's going really well. Um, it's botanical based so I'll leave it at that. Give too much. I'm not giving too much away. <laughs> Taking our time developing patterns and finding the right manufacturers and slow growth. We did exactly. start a few years ago and we've done very small capture collections. We launched a larger one last year at um, Global Melbourne Fashion Festival um, and now this year again expanding so it's great to be in the awards this year. Um, a lot of labels that we admire have gone through and become extremely successful mm. and you know, to be part of that, to be put into that realm is that category yeah it's mm. you know it's fantastic mm. the pool of young talent at the moment is fantastic and um just being here today with those designers is, is quite amazing so i think there's a real energy and a hunger and um i think it's quite fun isn't it yeah i think australian fashion um has always been a lot more free i mean you know i, I come from france and i feel that there's like um a lot of freedom in, in design here, you know, I think it's the climate, I think people are designers are actually not scared of colour here, you know, they really go for the colour, especially in summer. And yeah, you know, you can do, you can design whatever you want, people would kind of wear it here, you know, there's that freedom. It's an honour and um, it's, yeah, no, we feel very lucky, and very honoured, um, it's a great award. Um, and I think when you work so initially in your own company it's nice to see what's happening and, and to be to be nominated as a finalist is just great isn't it? Mm. It's great to be put on that you know level of uh, recognition you know because mm. it's a tough industry as you know and it's just nice to get really nice recognition for all the work we've done mm. and to have reached that level of recognition is you know very rewarding. Being in a designer award means uh, a lot for the label uh, and it's also a way that uh, for uh, the label to communicate with the public and the first time to introduce uh, uh, what is the, the design, what is the behind of the designer thought of, uh, of, of the collection. Uh, being a designer because like me myself, I'm a very imaginative person and to be able to transform what I have in my mind and and turn it into reality uh, probably in like an hour or two hours uh, which is really amazing um, I think that is the biggest thing that you know happiness to being a designer is the satisfaction is the process love that I have a lot of peers in the industry that are all really supportive of each other um, I'm quite new to the industry and because I work alone um, it sometimes feels a little bit isolated but I, I love that 
there's a really positive kind of attitude to young designers and everybody is really helpful towards each other. Um, I have a few friends, um, including a few friends who are also in this competition. Um, so it's just a nice feeling of being able to, rather than being competitive with your peers, just to be supportive of each other. It feels a little bit like being accepted by um, the industry and yeah, everything's kind of moving quite quickly at the moment for me so it's, yeah, it feels really positive and I'm just, yeah, I'm really, really appreciative. I'm loving the challenge, I think. Yeah, it's definitely highs and lows. Uh, when we first started, we were so scared of how we were going to get perceived and all that as designers. But one, you know, through, throughout the journey, I think the uh, the journey itself, you know, it makes us truly uh, realise that we love what we do and, and it has been highs and lows and I think, you know, both, uh, both aspects contribute a lot to the development of the label. Seriously, when we first got the call, it was just like, what? Wow. <laughs> like, and then, you know, when, when we were told who, who the other finalists are, it was just like, whoa, it's, been, it's such an honour being, yeah, being just, in that big group. Big yeah, place. like, also, so many big names. So, so early in, yeah. in, we're only up to our third season and we just, we, we still work from home and we still feel very little and, yeah. like, being here, it just it feels it's it's bigger than us. Like, yeah. the table is growing bigger than us and we're just, it's out of our